Yo, what is up guys? It is Phantom here today and I have some extremely cool news and kind of an analysis video. So let's look looking at the Dragon Ball Super art for the new new Dragon Ball Super art that's gonna be involving future trunks. Now if you know me, I wasn't the most excited about this arc, but I would I was having debate, but overall it's looking really nice and seeing that this I'm glad they're doing something different. It looks very post apocalyptic like. Like his like look at this and also it's showing the image of black goku for the first time and we see um two characters which we should all know is my and trunks now from most of the news which i really can't really read off of a news article from this because a the, J the magazine is in japanese like the scan is in japanese and b the only translation i could find was a french translation which makes absolutely no sense so if you guys have any more information than what i'm left to say please write it down in the comments down below but from what we have confirmed is that we know it's Trunks from our timeline, which is the Cell arc and all of the future Trunks we know. That's all we know. We know it's not Trunks from when he was, I mean, from Super or anything. We also know that this takes place, I believe, 17 years. If I am wrong about this, please correct me in the comment section down below. And we know that, all we know is that Black Goku has been fucking up the future. Now, if we can look at Black Goku a little differently, He's wearing wearing a Pataro earring. What could this mean? Could he be under the control of someone, or could he have like could could something have fused with him? That's what I was thinking in my head, like a dark entity, and it doesn't have to necessarily be a person he fused with. It can obviously be something a dark entity would wear. As a lot of YouTubers have said, the Mikra wear this, the Kyoshins from Universe Six wear them, and it's not just restricted to fusion. Otherwise, there'd be a whole bunch of fucking fusions of Kyoshins, and the Migra could have been a fusion. But that's all I have to say on that matter. Um, we see that Mai looks a lot younger than what she should be. She should be a lot older than what she is, and she should be a lot more. How should I put? I don't know. She just should be a lot older than what she is. Because at the end of Super, we already know they got witch back of their children. So how is she young? So could this connect in the future? Um, Super's timeline? I don't know. Now, we see Trunks, of course, with his iconic sword, and he, it just looks so post-apocalyptic to the point where he looks injured. So he must have had, at one point, tried to take this enemy on, and was defeated. Now, all I have to say is, through most of the skin, um, I can barely, I can really say that he, Goku must have fucked shit up, because it is literally... A black dark screen and I'm wondering why he's in the SOS to the future now I have one question will they be going into the future to fight this guy or are they going or is he gonna bring black Goku into the present day to stop him which is something I'm really wondering and really wanting to see now overall we see that Trunks has his sword back which believe it or not he didn't use it as much in Z after a while because when he came back to the future he didn't use it that's all that mattered and he was just like oh just don't need it so I guess this threat must be something really really crazy I mean it's, it's an evil Goku and I'm still laughing at the fucking name of Black Goku I mean it's a very unique name from Toriyama but you know I have faith that 